Hey guys, I'm Miss Anna, the Youth Services Assistant Librarian for Decatur Public Library, and welcome to my book talk. Today's book I have to share with you is called Race to the Sun by Native American author Rebecca Roanhorse. She is part of the OK Owingay people of New Mexico and Navajo through marriage, and I have a picture of her right here uh, for you to look at. But to start us off on our book talk, I want to ask you a few questions. So, are you popular at school? Are you athletic? Are you the perfect student? Great grades and always on time? Are you able to see monsters? If you answer no to any of these questions, don't feel bad because Nahoni Begay can't answer yes to a single one either. Well, except for the last one because she can totally see monsters. See, when Nahoni sees monsters, they are in human form. No one else can really tell that they're monsters. This is a special ability. And it's a secret, too. Only a few people know that she can see monsters. And she just so happens to see one in the stands from the basketball court, where she's about to score the game-winning goal. Talk about a huge distraction, right? Nahoni and her brother Marcus, they attend ICCS, Intertribal Community Charter School. And at this school, everyone is a Native American. Her single dad, though, um, he's looking at moving the family from Albuquerque, New Mexico to Oklahoma. It all depends on whether a land rush oil and gas company offer him a job or not. And when the company boss, Mr. Charles, turns out to be the monster that Nahoni saw during her basketball game, she knows something is going on. Mr. Charles is very interested in her, Marcus, and their Navajo heritage because it turns out She's not just able to see monsters, she's actually a Naye Nizgani, a monster slayer. And this makes her a threat to monsters like Mr. Charles, and he's determined to get rid of her. When she tries to explain this danger to her dad, he doesn't believe her. Then he goes missing, leaving behind a one-word message. Run. With the guidance of Mr. Yazzie, her stuffed horn toad turned to real life, she sets out on a mission to the House of Sun. House of the Sun. <laughs> there, they'll find weapons that they can use to defeat the monsters. Her brother Marcus and her friend, uh, her best friend Davery, go with her on this quest. This was published under the Rick Ray Orton Presents Book Imprint, which is a small branch of Disney Hyperion. So you can see you can see Rick Roy Orton's um, name right here on the cover, but it's not written by him. The goal of this branch is to find cultures that are underrepresented and give them the opportunity and platform to share their own myths and legends and folklore. So similar to how Roy Orton's Percy Jackson series focused on Greek mythology, Race to the Sun has Navajo stories and characters inside. And these are myths and legends like the Changing Woman, uh, Spider Woman, Hero Twins, the Guardians of the Four Sacred Mountains, and more. Stories that many of us might be unfamiliar with. But um, that was really interesting to read, but probably the main thing that I liked about this book were all the positive messages that it had. Um, trust your instincts. Know that you are enough. There's nothing wrong with being scared, and it's okay to not have all the answers. Um, those are just a couple of them. Um, I would recommend this to fans of adventure stories and mythology. It's aimed at grades four to seven, and I hope you I hope you read it and you pick it up and you enjoy it. Nahoni is an extremely relatable main character, and I really enjoyed her story, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. But that is all that I have to share with you. Um, all right. Bye, guys.